tremendous mosques intended to represent the power of the caliphs. When the caliphs of the Abbasid dynasty took over, the capital of the empire moved from Damascus in Syria to Baghdad in Iraq. During this period, art was representative of Persian and Turkish ways of life. This dynasty saw significant advances in technology in the arts, incorporating achievements and customs of past and then current empires into their own cultures. This piece embodies the essence of the Islamic religion. The dome structure is similar to that of the central plan churches of other civilizations. However, the churches it resembles had plain exteriors, whereas this mosque has a brilliantly gold dome and is decorated with a marble veneer and mosaics on the outside. The church was built to accommodate visitors with ambulatories that allow for pilgrims to walk around the revered rock. The octagonal drum, on which the dome is mounted, is supported by a series of arches and columns. Excerpts from the Quran decorate the walls in gold on a turquoise background, making the interior of the building just as lavish as the exterior. Built in 744 CE, the Palace of Mashata in Jordan was left likely uncompleted but was decorated with a continuous frieze around the base of the palace's facade, which made it unique to other palaces from the period. The decoration of this palace is its most artistically important aspect. The intertwining of animals such as griffins, lions and ox with vines made up a significant part of the decoration. The inclusion of these types of decorations and motifs make it apparent that Persian and Egyptian craftsmen were very involved in the building and decoration of this palace. The Great Mosque of Cordoba's aesthetics rely heavily on the use of patterns and repetition. The columns and arches are repeated throughout the prayer hall and the use of colourful marble patterns on these elements combine to create a dramatic hall that resembles the hypostyle halls of the Greek age. The building uses horseshoe shaped arches which were favoured in the Roman times, another indication of the Islamic tendency to incorporate elements from other cultures into their own. The use of representational images in Islamic religious art was almost always avoided, and this launched the elaborately decorated pages of manuscripts. Words were used not only for reading and prayer, but also for decoration. Calligraphy appeared in buildings, on carpets, and documents. The use of gold in calligraphy was prominent. Arabic script is written from right to left, and each letter usually takes one of three forms depending on its position in a word. With its rhythmic interplay between verticals and horizontals, the system lends itself to many variations. Formal Kufic script is blocky and angular, with strong upright strokes and long horizontals. The 
possession of power in this period was much more uncertain and decentralized than that of the previous period. Eventually, the Islamic powers were entirely defeated by the Christians, an event that altered the ruling methods and religion of the region. This mosque, built during an earlier period, was modified during this era to include two more domes. These are a common feature of Islamic architecture. The plan was also remodeled from a hippo-style mosque to a full Iwan plan. One of the new domes covered a mirab, an empty niche in the wall. The dome's facade is tiled with brilliantly colored blue mosaics. The elaborate adjustments to the mosque highlight the importance of mosques and by extension religion and worship in Islamic society. This building was constructed not with a religious purpose, but as a palace, meant to display the wealth of the rulers who resided in it, and establish the power they possessed. This is an example of architecture as propaganda, intended to reduce doubts about the rulers' capabilities. The Court of the Lions is divided evenly into four parts by cross-axial walkways that meet at a central marble fountain held aloft on the back of twelve stone lions. The courtyard is encircled by an arcade of stucco arches, supported on single columns or clusters of two or three. The star-shaped vault is formed by a honeycomb of clustered mucanus arches that alternate with corner squinches that are filled with more mucanus. Metalwork was a tradition adopted by the Islamic people from previous civilizations, which they altered to make it unique to their culture. Metalwork was frequently in the shape of animals, such as this griffin, which was an example of the mythical elements of the style. Metal containers were decorated with complex geometric patterns and tessellations. As the period progressed, inlaid brasswork became common in metalwork. The textiles of this period were typically very complex in terms of their design, and often involved designs like those seen in the friezes of the Great Mosque of Cordoba, which were animal figures intertwined with vines and other plants. The animals depicted were not realistic but conceptualized. The textiles were composed of many different types of fabrics, silk being the most luxurious and expensive, that were dyed vivid rich colors. Architecture did not change significantly with the change of power and the creation of the Ottoman Empire, but the Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque with its original icons covered or destroyed. This mosque is famous for its minarets that are unusually thin and draw the viewer's eye upward towards the sky, and thus God. The use of mosaics and tiles is prevalent, showing the use of the glazing technique developed in the previous period. This mosque was centrally planned, again drawing on Byzantine tradition. Islamic architecture has encompassed a wide range of both secular and religious architecture styles from the foundation of Islam to the present day, influencing the design and construction of buildings and structures within the sphere of Islamic culture. Thank you for watching the Tea Time with the Mr. KQ. I will see you next Wednesday. Goodbye now! <laughs>